lobster fra diablo, and then lobster egg noodles made from the eggs of the lobster, which are free. So walk me through, chef, because this already smells fantastic. So whole lobster, we're using the entire thing. We've got the tails over here. So I'm making a lobster fra diablo with lobster egg noodles, and my plan is to use every single part of this lobster. My favorite way to blanch lobsters is to separate the tails and claws into a pot and pour boiling water into that pot, time it for three minutes. After three minutes, remove the tails, and then time it for another three minutes and let the claws cook for a total of six minutes. That dark green stuff that's inside is actually lobster roe. That roe is gonna go into my lobster egg noodles. Tell me about the noodles that are being made with the roe. What, what, so I'm making pasta dough okay. and I'm making egg noodles. And the reason why I'm making egg noodles is because I'm using the lobster eggs. Got it. My egg noodles are basically a standard pasta dough. I'm putting less egg yolk into it and replacing that with the lobster eggs. I'm blending all of this together and I'm putting it in the food processor with milk, all-purpose flour, a little bit of oil, and some salt because this gets everything together evenly and it also kneads it a bit faster. And so I made a ball of this pasta. I'm gonna wrap it in plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator and let it rest for about 30 minutes so that it's a little less elastic when I put it through the pasta machine. What is the sauce with this dish? The Fra Diablo is usually just a spicy lobster sauce. I have the bodies of the lobster. The bodies themselves, the parts where the little legs are attached, actually has the most flavor. And then you've got that tamale in the back of the head. So I'm caramelizing all of that in oil until it gets deep and sort of roasted and smells like roasted lobster. I'm adding in some whole heads of garlic that are just split, some onion, some Calabrian chili, and then letting that sort of roast and roast and roast, and then deglazing with vermouth. Deglazing is basically just getting all those bits of roastedness off the bottom of the pot so that flavor goes into your sauce. Lastly, blending up some canned tomato. I'm gonna pour that into the pot as well and just let this simmer for about 30 minutes. I need to remove the lobster from the shells. The tails are pretty easy. You just press down on the sides and then loosen the shells, crack it, and pull the tail meat out. The claws actually require a shellfish cracker. I like to use the back of my knife. The last thing that I have left is the knuckles. Those are best removed using a pair of kitchen shears. Once the pasta dough is rested, I'm gonna run it through the flat part of the pasta machine. I'm not using a cutter. What I'm going for here with the noodles is more of like when you go out for dim sum and maybe Chinese noodles where they have a lot of texture. I want to hand cut these noodles. I want them to be a little wider than a traditional noodle, like a parpadelle, but I'm going actually thicker and wider than that. This is basically the only dish I'm making, and so I really wanna showcase the texture and the fact that these noodles are just handmade noodles. My sauce has been simmering for about 30 minutes. I'm straining that through a sieve. There's so much of that lobster flavor that's stuck in all those little crevices, and I don't wanna leave any of that in the strainer. And then I'm gonna cook my pasta, just like a lobster goes from one color to bright orange, this pasta is gonna go from green to bright orange. The lobster meat itself that I removed from the claws, the knuckles, and the tail, that's gonna go back into that sauce and get nice and glazed. And then the noodles will go right into the sauce. Last, uh, some shaved chives. Chives to me are something that's gonna make the dish pop, like finishing sea salt. So fancy. Here you go, bro. Oh. oh Pasta's yeah. perfectly cooked. Oh my mm -hmm. God, so good. Perfectly done. Nice, beautiful parpadel strips. And it was just lights out and probably one of the best dishes I ever had from Voltaggio.